Hello, welcome to game three of the Medium Games Files, Sporting Elijah versus the Sonoran Sounder. We've got a page game here um, with Butcher Transmogrify. Let's uh, join in. As Sounder had the 2-5 and they opened Page Butcher, which is just really a beautiful, beautiful thing to be able to see. It's pretty good. Um, Sporting Elijah opened Transmogrify Page, which also seems like a pretty good opening. Um, I think you prefer the Butcher, but... You'll take uh, you'll take it. Um, one nice thing with with the butcher here is you can butcher coppers into black cats or pages, and the black cats are going to be non terminal if you get a champion. Um, although champion does protect you against black cats. Um, I will tell you, Rachel, my one weakness, not as a Dominion player but as a human being, is cats. Um, they may In the sense that they're cute, or that you're allergic. In the sense that I seize as soon as I'm around them. <laughs> and I will be over at someone's house or apartment and I'll be like, do you have cats? They're like, yeah, we put them in the bedroom while people were over. I'm like, I can tell. <laughs> so, you know, if I start seizing in the middle of the game, it's, it's due to the, just looking at the picture of the black cat. Uh -huh. So, yeah, I mean, I guess with Wild Hunt here, you're pretty happy to take, take a champion and just grab a bunch of Wild Hunts. Um, the other nice thing you can do is hero to gain golds or hordes and butcher them into provinces, which is pretty sweet. Um, and then transmogrify, you know, gives you pile pressure late with, with provinces. Both players have picked up two, two transmogrifies, it looks like, which is not something you see super often, um, in the early game, but is nice. And, you know, scheme seems like a nice piece as well, because you can scheme your wild hunts later on. also scheme fortresses if you have play. Yeah, so th that's another really nice interaction um, that I hadn't noticed until you just said it. If you top deck a fortress um, and people in chat said this as well, if you top deck a fortress you can then T-Mog it into Wild Hunt. The fortress remains in your hand so you can play it and then play the Wild Hunt for plus three cards and you know, once we've got Champion in play we don't care about actions so we're really happy to just grab a ton of, ton of Wild Hunts um, this game's fun because even even the silvers you get with Treasure Hunter, you're pretty happy to like transmogify those into schemes or fortresses based on. I'd rather not have them. <laughs> I mean, surely you'd rather not have them, but if you've got them anyways, you know, you can do something pretty productive with them. I I really rather not. We have fortress. I'd rather just butcher that. There's no plus buy, so like they really provide nothing. Yeah, I mean, there's no plus buy, but you've got Butcher and Wild Hunt can gain VP quite nicely as well. So there's a lot of stuff going on here, I think. Um, and then, but there's no utility in having a silver to trash when you have Fortress to trash. Yeah, those four silvers that Sounder just gained don't feel great because you've got to draw through them later. Um, this should be a Wild Hunt, I think. Draw seems important. Yeah. Hmm. We were we weren't able to trash a copper into a two cost. Then we were only left with five with four coins. And they had extra. They had one extra copper. Yeah. Oh, so they would have had. They would have only had four because they lose one money from the copper plus two money in coffers. So they lose three money if they trashed a copper. So they could have bought a fortress or scheme or something. Um, which, if all they're going to buy here is a fortress, then I surely would have trashed a copper into a black cat. Black, I think, I think I'm already taking turn. <laughs> There's a question when you're playing these champion games, how early you start just cramming in terminal draw cards and hope they don't get in the way once, until you get the champion in play. I would have taken an iron monger earlier. Kind of like draw two mm -hmm. for a while. Yeah. Um... But, you know, I guess you can get a couple of fortresses for the butchering stuff, although... Um, it's kind of funny against Warrior. Yeah, we still don't have a, uh, a butcher for sporting a lot of joke, which is notable. Yeah, the fortress... And it's it's even thematic, I guess, which is cool. The warrior tries to attack you, but you hold up in your fortress and you're safe. Uh -huh. And it's an advantage when they attack you when you're inside your fortress. 
Um, whereas if you're out, you know, wandering the Silk Road and they attack you, you'll get trashed. It took me a second to come up with a victory card that cost three or four. And Mill is less exciting of a theming than, than Silk Road. All right, so it was for the Legend it's seven. I'm pretty happy to click on Wild Hunt here. Um, I want draw cards. I want to draw through the deck. Oh my god, I just want to transmo into the Wild Hunt. That's like, it's, it's reasonable, actually. <laughs> I guess that's like if you pile drive the fortresses in Wild Hunt. Yeah, like... <laughs> It only makes sense if they click on Wild Hunt right now. If they don't click on Wild Hunt, then I don't think it makes sense. Um, for both players, they both have the same kind of thing. Um, and yeah, chat pointed this out very quickly. Um, Tmog is nice with, with Fortress, Wild Hunt, and Pain. So, so S. Sounder has done this thing, I think, now, Sporting Elijah. We'll give them the benefit of the doubt and say that they had thought of it too. Um, so, Ashwell, what was it I was saying about the Silvers not being that bad? We just <laughs> they do look they do look pretty bad. Um, if only we had raid, we could gain four more silvers and do a minor attack. If only there are mint, I'd buy a mint right now. <laughs> and trash nine nine treasures. Have you ever played in your early days? Played a storyteller deck and bought a mint and only thought it was going to trash like the most recently played treasures, not realizing it's going to trash like your entire. Yeah, I'd say I've done that as well. Um, you know, when you're rated like 42 and you're just starting to play with the expansions, and I have done that once and I was like, oops, what just happened to my deck? <laughs> it just like completely disappeared. <laughs> um, this is a pretty sweet turn here for Elijah. They get three key mods down and they're able to scheme fortress. So like their next turn is going to be huge, I think. Um, and we have to start looking at piles too, because the team mod and the fortress pile both look like they're running here very quickly. We've split the labyrinth points, which I'm, I don't know. I'm pretty much ignoring labyrinth points, but we've split them for whatever that's worth. You just take a gold here. Well, maybe take a... I think so. I don't actually want the extra golds that buying a horde might get me later. So I think I just take the gold here. So what's the right mixture here as Sporting Elijah? They did bottom deck their hero, but they've got a... They have quite a few fewer silvers. I think you take one, two fortresses and two hunts. Oh, I think they should have trash silver instead of Oh, they could have turned silver into a fortress. And their deck's the same, but they've got one fewer silver. Um, I think we just draw. Uh, we play the hero first. And I think we draw on given the stuff that we have. I would have played the... Well, I guess you don't actually want to put the gold no, in the shuffle. Never mind. Um, I guess I'm happy to take province here. I really do want to see a butcher from Sporting Elijah. But they do have t mods, so perhaps next turn or the turn after they'll be able to... Uh, Butcher a fortress into a... Uh, sorry, transmog a fortress into a butcher. Um, yeah, we are seeing this this silver thing where a sounder played a treasure hunter to get four silvers and their deck is just struggling. Um, struggling to draw with all the, with all the silvers. So, I think Sporting Logic can pile next turn even on T Mog's Fortresses and Wild Hunts. Uh, this turn, I assume they're going to get. Oh, Sounder. I was like. Looks like they're all getting taken anyway. I think Sporting Logic needs to take the Estates, though, this turn. I don't know when. If one that stops here um, and takes the estates, yeah, six VP feels like quite a lot at this stage of the game. They've got a champion coming up, three T mods in hand, and a fortress. So they've got 
you know, three gains to start the turn. <laughs> um, although I guess... I guess Spring Lodge is capped at three gains this turn. What? They're capped at four gains, sorry, um, from the relevant piles. They don't have any source of gains other than T-Mogs. They've only got three of those. But they can T-Mog for, like, Wild Hunts and Butchers and stuff. I think we definitely take the last Wild Hunt. I think we could take a Butcher now. Um... Did I miss something? How do they gain two? They're just saying they're going to win over two turns. Okay. They're just saying 16 points is too much to make up and they're going to do a two turn pile out. Yep. Yeah, I assume seeing that Sporting Lodge has two, um, two transmogs the mat. I guess you have to hope to draw the golds and the butchers and get and three provinces seems very difficult to do. Oh, well, here's one province. Uh, yeah. Um, even two more provinces seems really difficult to do, right? Yeah. And then if they because and if they get if they get three more provinces, then they're just you know leaving an easy pile out. So. Um, I guess there's this big extra stack of points in the Wild Hunt pile, but those are, you know, that requires giving up draw, which means extra playing cards. Um, this one was surprising to me. I thought S. Sounder had a big, big lead on the page butcher stuff, but Sporting Lodge's uh, T-Mog Scheme Fortress plan seemed to have worked out really nicely. Yeah, I think we underestimated how And yeah, this is just like a trivial spin fortresses. Um, I would trash the silver and the T-Mog just to, just to show who's boss and let the fortresses stay, but they're going to do it the other way. Um, and that's a win for Sporting Elijah. Um, we move on to game four.